Welcome back chaps, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to identify a high quality woman and how to identify a low quality bad woman that will chew you up, spit you out and ruin your life. So that you don't waste time dating and so you can have a look at maybe a girl you're seeing right now, a girl you've been talking to, you can put her through the next, I think there's five, five different tests at various points in your relationship. And once you've got ticks in all of those boxes, you can be like, okay, at least she's high quality woman. There's obviously other things you need to look out for, but these five are pretty damn good. Like, if she's got all five of these, at least you're not with a total fucking maniac. This is one of my own creations. This was not from anybody else. I don't know anybody else who does this. And the reason for this is because I believe that a girl should be your piece. A woman that you date should be your peace and quiet. She should be that welcoming, loving force in the house when you get back from a hard day. Because life for us is fucking war. Life for a man is fucking war. You're suited and booted. You're going out there and fucking making money every day. You've got the stress of the world. You've got to be rich. You've got to be rich. You've got to know how to fight. You've got to take rejection. You've got to keep going and going and going and going. So when you get home from a day of fighting battles and doing whatever the fuck else is we do every single day. You want a girl that, that brings you a lot of peace, so this is the peace test. Great test for a fourth or fifth date after you've seen a girl for a little bit. So what I do is I'll book a dinner. Let's say, I'll say to a girlfriend, let's go out on Thursday night and come over to mine an hour before. Then we'll head over, dress up, get her dressed up, get her makeup done, get her in some high heels, <gasps> and tell her you're taking her out to her, to her favorite place. When she arrives, you then say, oh, babe, I'm fucking stressed as fuck from work. I'm a bit busy. I'm a bit feeling a bit sick. Like, do you mind if we just chill? I'll grab a takeaway and we just chill at home. If a woman wants to be your peace, she'll be overjoyed to be just in your presence, spending time with you, to hang out and just chill. She'll happily take her heels off and her makeup and go, yeah, no problem, we can go another day. That's what you're looking for in a woman. That's, that's the first test that I'll put girls through. Because if they start throwing a fucking hissy fit, about not going out for some fancy dinner. Get rid of them there and then, boys. That's when you fuck them off. And that's a very important test because you want a girl that brings you peace. So that's your number one. Imagine the best version of yourself, incapable of weaknesses, living life as the man you've always wanted to be. up early morning with an indestructible mind powered by alpha grind coffee designed to help you crush your goals with unlimited focus and vitality sculpt a body that turns heads and sets you apart from your peers only with kingmaker supplements the next one i've been using for a little while and one that you can easily not use, but is very helpful to know if a girl is actually willing to really bring herself down to your level. This is one from Tate's content, you might have seen it before. If after the first time you have sex with a girl, the next day, rather than rushing in and saying, oh my God, I had the best night ever of my life, your pussy's so sweet. Don't say that, that that's, that's gonna put them off. So instead, you just don't message. The next day, you can say goodnight or whatever if they've gone home or goodbye and then don't message them until they message you. It's super important. She should be able to text you first and be like, oh, I had fun last night, or I had a good time, or thanks for taking me out, or nice to see you, like, what are you up to today? You've probably texted her first for the majority of the time, because as, as men, we are leaders, that's what we do. We lead the charge, we, we get, we, we have to sort of put some effort in to get women. But after the, having sex for the first time, it's important that you let her get back in touch with you. Because if, you, if she doesn't get back in touch with you, it's a, big, it's a big problem. She's shown that having sex is not a big deal for her. Like she has sex with a lot of guys. That's why she's happy to just totally blank you. A girl that's not having sex with a lot of guys will be like, oh, that was kind of special to me. Why hasn't he texted me? And she'll follow up. If she doesn't follow up, this girl's getting dicked all over the place. And it's not a girl that you want to be bringing into your life because she's too cold. She's just, 
She's seeing too many guys. She's not available for a relationship. So that's a very easy test that can save you a lot of fucking time and energy and a lot of stress in the future. Here's the next one. Not a problem for me where I live in, in Asia. The women here have uh, are brought up fantastically and they have fantastic values. As, as women, they are feminine. But if you're in a Western country, you've got to lay down the law and you've got to check these tests. So I recommend you go out for a business meeting or say it's a business meeting, meeting a friend. And after you've been seeing a girl for a while, leave her in the house. Just you have around one night and you say, oh, I've got to go out for a meeting. Would you mind just doing my, I've, I've left the laundry out. Would you mind doing my laundry? Just clean up a little bit for me and make me some food for when I get back. And just lay it on her like that. Friendliness, be charming, be whatever you want. You're not, you're not telling her what to do, but you're trying to gauge her reaction. If she turns around and gives you any sort of fucking, I'm, I'm not your slave, why do you think I would do that? She's not, she's not worth having around, boys. Trust me, there's, women should absolutely want to serve you. They should absolutely want to do things for you. And she should be overjoyed at the fact that you've given her a nice opportunity to basically get closer with you to build a bond with you. Whenever I say this to a woman, most of the time I do not have to say this, it's done automatically as soon as I leave the house. If I ever do say this, of course. They say, of course I would do that. I can't wait to do that. See you later. And then, they, and then you leave and you come back later and the house is clean, the laundry's done, you've got food on the table and it makes them happy to serve you. It makes them happy to do that for you. And you in return are very happy as well and you care for them and you're nice to them. So. That's how a relationship should be, boys. Uh, do, don't get it, it screwed up. That's how a relationship should be when you're a G and you're running shit and you're fucking doing your life properly and you're a respectable guy doing well. That's how life works. If it's not like that for you right now, you've either got personal work to do or you've got to switch your chick. And the next one is your classic sort of shit test saying no. She's got to get used to the word, word no because women need boundaries, especially in relationships. They are looking for a man who can enforce his boundaries and make her respect you. So a few no's that you can put out there to start with, just very light ones, is if she wants to watch a certain movie and you genuinely don't want to watch it. Like if she wants to put on Mean Girls or some shit. And like a lot of guys will let girls into their crib and let them take over and they kind of womanize the crib and watch Barbie with me and sit down and watch Barbie with me and we're getting a pink blanket. Fuck no, we're not. We're not watching Barbie. We're watching fucking Rambo right now in a, in a blue blanket, bitch. So if she wants to watch a movie that you genuinely don't want to watch, just lay down the law and say, nah, baby, we're watching this. And any girl that actually admires you and is gonna make a good girlfriend, We'll be like, okay, no problem. Like, she'll just laugh it off. Any girl that's going to be a royal pain in your fucking ass will go, I never get to watch the movies I want to watch. Ah, yeah, because you're a fucking goblin, that's why. You're a goblin. Let get out of my house. Say no to partying. There's no reason why your girlfriend should be out partying. Very occasionally, a girlfriend will want to go maybe to a friend's birthday, for example or it's an important dinner or an evening drinks and they'll text you through the night, not stay out too late. Maybe you go and pick them up and they should be sort of not too drunk and they should be able to text you the whole time. This is just caring for a girl. Like there's absolutely no need for a woman to be out partying. I'm not currently doing any partying myself. I'm not drinking any alcohol. It's bad for you. You make bad decisions and it is not something that a girl of mine would engage in. And I'll tell you what the funny thing about this is, because a lot of girls would probably watch a video like this and think, this guy's fucking controlling. Every girl that I've done, this shows a great amount of compassion and care for a girl. I want the best for you. I don't want you to drink. I don't want you to party. I don't want you to get in bad situations. I want you to improve yourself. I want you to feel better mentally. I want you to go in the gym. I want you to read self-improvement because I love you, because I want you to be good. I want you to be better. And every girl that I've done this with has absolutely loved it. They've absolutely loved the new rules, the structure in their life, the routine that I give them has made them adore me. And that's that's just how I roll. And I think it's a great way to roll. And when you, when you are in love with a girl, that's exactly how you should treat her. Don't let her ruin herself or her own life. Decline going to a family gathering. This is just one that you throw in every now and again. There are things, commitments that women in the West think are obligato ob obligatory. 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 They think are obligatory for a man to come to. You need to go to her cousin's wedding or somebody's funeral or some shit like this. And obviously if you really want to and you want to support your girlfriend, you can go. But if you don't want to go, 
don't fucking go and just say no. And if a girl's really shitty about this, about you not going to something with her, she's normally going to be a pain in the ass. So, boys, that's just my, that's my opinion on this. These are a few tests I give to the girls. And uh, just make sure that we've, we're with some good ones that I'm going to try and screw everything up. Oh, shit. There's another one. The prenup test. I got this from Richard Cooper. The prenup, if you don't know what it is, prenuptial agreement, it's when you, a girl agrees to not take half of your money if you ever divorce her. It's when you're thinking of getting married. And it's a very, very, very important document for a man who has amassed a lot of wealth or is, has, gone, has become quite successful in his life, especially if he meets a, a woman that's not been a part of that growth. Any woman that is not comfortable with the idea or talking about taking a, having a prenup and signing something like that, you should never get married to. Because it just shows that she is most likely in it for, for the money more than anything else. I mean, I really wouldn't advise getting married at all because there is no need as a man. There really is no need. Like, if you're a high-value man, a girl is never going to leave you. She's, if you. If you love her, she loves you. You look after her properly. You fuck her right and you make a lot of money and you're a successful guy, she's not going anywhere, man. She can threaten you with like, if you don't get married to me, I'm going with someone else. Bullshit, she ain't going anywhere else. She's staying right where she is and I just don't think you should get married. You can even have children with that with that woman, but marriage, I think, puts a, puts a pressure on things. It does put a, a nasty pressure on things, but I, fuck, fuck do I know, man. I'm, I'm 25 years old, but that's basically how it works in my head. So the prenup test, I just tried this one actually on a a girl I'm with at the moment and she was like yeah of course I'd sign a prenup so it's interesting some good stuff to try out there boys I hope you're all doing very well I'm a bit sick today actually I don't know if you can tell but I've powered on I've got through it and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy the vid lads and I will see you again very very soon Whoop -a!